How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about some ridiculousness from Marvel Comics. Now, when I was a kid back in the early 90s, uh, late 80s also, up until like the mid 90s, I was a big time comic book fan. I'd be in the store with my mom and we get to the checkout and it'd be this big uh, kiosk of comics. You had Marvel, DC, some of the smaller independent houses. It, back then, I knew of guys that were doing comics on their own. It was a lot of different books I was able to read. And what drew me in most of the time was the cover, not just in comics, but also in books like Goosebumps and Fear Street. I was really into those types of things because when I was a kid, I just enjoyed reading. It was fun to me. It was a way for me to kind of escape. You know, I played video games and stuff like that, but reading just enable me to make a reality exist for a while that I did not live in the hood I was in. You know, I could escape the hood and the gunshots and get into this book and go to a faraway galaxy, go to an alternate universe and really just enjoy myself in that time. OK, so that's my connection to comic books. And I really appreciated Marvel, DC and other companies for providing an experience for me back then. But. That was a long time ago. You're talking about 20, 30 years ago. We're in 2020 and things have most certainly changed. And to give you some evidence about how things have changed, I'll place this comic book cover on the screen before you. Now, this is from a comic called The New Warriors. Apparently, there was a Warriors back in the 90s. I'm not really sure when that came out. Probably when I was getting a little bit older, like in high school, when I stopped reading comic books as much. So I've never seen it before, but apparently there was a comic based on some of these characters. The characters have changed, obviously, and I think they have not changed for the better. Now, my issue is with all the characters, really. I got a problem. I got a bone to pick with all of them, but two characters are really just grinding my gears, rubbing me the wrong way. I'm not a fan at all. Their names are Snowflake and Safe Space. I'm not lying to you. I'm being 1000% serious. I first saw this whole thing on the internets, of course, on my social media, on my Insta snaps and Facebooks and face chats, whatever. I'm seeing it everywhere and I'm like, okay, am I seeing something from the Babylon B? Is this a hoax? Am I being punked? What's going on here? But no, this is very serious. And I have video to prove it. I have articles to prove it. And I'll place all of that in the description box below. Let's get back to Safe Space and Snowflake. Now, Snowflake's powers are to like shoot crystallize uh, snowflakes at you. For real, I'm, I'm being serious. And Safe Space has the power to create a force field around somebody, but the power only activates when he protects someone else. A detail about Snowflake is that they are non-binary and their pronouns are they, them. Again, I'm being dead serious. I'm not sure about Safe Space, but Snowflake, that's their pronouns. And they're twins, by the way. I'm not sure if they're fraternal twins or what's going on, if they're both males. Who knows anymore? Because I guess gender is unimportant. It doesn't really exist. But when you're talking about comics, you got to have males and females. But anyway, I digress. The point is that they're twins and I'm not sure about this embrace they're having on the cover. OK, you know, I hope my family members and everything. But this is kind of a strange embrace right here. I'm not really sure what's going on. This is inappropriate for kids. I'm going to just call it how I see it. And it's geared to kids. This is not an adult comic by any stretch of their imagination. The guy that is behind it or some kind of way involved put a video out on Marvel's YouTube page talking about why they named the characters what they named them. He's talking about Snowflake and Safe Space being named that because a lot of these terms get thrown around on the Internet and he wants to take the power away from the terms to make it something positive. Now, you know where that comes from. You know where that comes from. You're probably thinking it. I'm going to just go ahead and say it. They're trying to equate uh being called a snowflake or being lgbt or whatever to being black because they're talking about the n-word people say that as a racial slur but then a lot of black folks are taking that back and they use it just in everyday language and kind of as a colloquialism okay so they want to try to compare 
Snowflake and Safe Space and also Screen Time, which is crazy, to the N-word. They're not going to come out there and say it. If you ask them, they'll deny it. But I believe that they are thinking that, okay? Which is why they're also two black characters. And then there's another one, Trailblazer, who's like looking like Precious. Okay, she's also black. All right? That's what's going on in my humble opinion. Now, my whole thing is, why must the black character also be LGBT? Are you trying to tick off a bunch of boxes? Okay, you got black, gender nonconforming, LGBT, uh, a ridiculous name. You got all those things happening at once. And then with Trailblazer, you have possibly LGBT. Who knows? It don't, it don't even really matter. I mean, at this point, it's like being gay is not even really a thing. It's just like normal. But anyway... You have trailblazer, obese, black, female. You're ticking off all these boxes. And if I'm a kid, I'm not really worried about all these boxes. I'm trying to just do what I was doing when I was a kid and just jump into the book, escape my reality, and have a good time and enjoy it. I don't want to be introduced to some of these very adult themes. Like I said, this is a comic that's geared towards kids. The other hero, Screen Time, is because the word screen time was always used in kind of a way that's aimed towards quote unquote attacking kids for being on their phone too much or being on a tablet computer too much. Okay. That's what that is. All right. It's very kid centric. I would even say this is aimed towards very small kids. Now, I don't know how my mom would have felt if she picked up one of my comics I was reading and she sees some LGBT stuff in there, some very adult themes I'm not sure how she would feel about it. it. Is the actual purpose here to create a comic that kids can really relate to, that they can enjoy, that they can appreciate, or is it about trying to indoctrinate kids to try to get them comfortable with adult themes, to try to get them introduced to sexuality that's not even normal, okay? If you're LGBT, that's fine, I don't care. But everyone knows, and you can't deny, that being gay being trans or whatever you want to call it is not normal. It is abnormal. That's a fact. But for some reason, we got to have this abnormal thing in every comic, in every movie, in every kid's book, history book, science book, whatever. It's getting to the point where it's ridiculous. And I'm not sure how Marvel is even staying afloat. Who is buying these comics? Maybe some of these kids like me who are in the store and they see the comic on the kiosk and they say, hey, that cover looks cool. I want to get that. Bring it home. Read it. But then when I get in there, it's some crazy LGBT pedosexual stuff. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm not a fan. Marvel, you got to stop this. And this, this ain't the first time that they have offended in this particular way. But at a certain point, they got to stop. All right. I mean, I'm not sure what's going to take to actually get them to stop. Uh, is it about boycotting their movies, boycotting uh, anything on television? And a bigger picture to zoom out a little bit is that Marvel is owned by Disney. Okay, so Disney is probably doing some of the same things that Marvel is doing in their movies, in their TV shows. ESPN, ABC are also owned by the same conglomerate. And for some reason, Bob Iger, the CEO of Disney, stepped down recently. Not really sure why that happened, but I digress. The point is that this is a multinational corporation type thing. It could be part of a bigger plan. You know, I know I have on a regular hat here and I don't have on a 10 4 hat. Maybe I should have on one. I don't know. But I'm just saying this whole thing just reeks of a bigger plan to indoctrinate your kids. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And what say you? Do you think it's a good thing that this comic is coming out with LGBTQ ABCDEFG characters named Snowflake, Safe Space, and all these other strange names. Why must this be the case? Why can't we have children be left alone? If somebody's an adult and they want to be gay, they want to read some of the LGBT stuff, that's fine. And there's no problem. But we got to protect kids, okay? Don't bring some of this very confusing stuff to them at a very early age, okay? That, that shouldn't be what's going on. We shouldn't be in the business of trying to indoctrinate kids. Let them be kids, Okay, let them and their parents decide what's right and what's wrong for them. Am I just being uh, transphobic? Am I being somehow racist towards people that are different than me? Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below.
And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.